<laughs> I don't think it's going to be a lot of shine there. It's uh, going to be an active day. Okay. Even through the start of the game, mm -hmm. the second half of the game will likely switch over to rain by then. Oh, Mess messy, of a system. Messy. Yeah. But that helps that Lamar's resting. Oh, no doubt. Um, you know, it's one of those games where don't risk it. And mm, we, we already got it. Factor. So, uh, big system uh -huh. Saturday into Sunday. Biggest in the season so far. Yeah, I mean, it, it had the greatest potential for colder air working its way in, and that door is still open to see mm -hmm. some accumulating snow. Okay. Uh, I think we'll get some slush on the roadways here in the metro area. If that jogs just a little bit farther south, we're talking more snow for our area. We'll break down a couple scenarios keeping a close eye on here. Here's satellite and radar. Now clouds filling in and we have a weak wave moving through. So you'll see some radar returns show up. We'll shake out a little bit of rain out of this, maybe a snowflake or two, but all that happens late tonight while most of us go to bed and into early tomorrow morning. We'll start you at 7 a.m. here Thursday morning with cloudy skies in place. Now we're dry throughout the day on Thursday and even back to sunshine for the second half of the day. Make preps now. We'll get uh, a lot of dry time ahead of this system that arrives into Saturday. So Friday still stays clear. One note here though, note the uh, wind direction out of the northwest bringing in that colder air and that'll set the stage for us to see that rain snow mix starting off in the morning. So here's the latest as we get into Saturday morning. Likely a mix up front, but then as temperatures warm with winds coming off the bay, we'll see uh, readings in the mid 30s. Now I think it'll be cold enough for snowflakes to fly, but as they hit the ground, a lot of melting on contact. We'll see a switch over to a little bit of a mix, even some ice pellets, and then eventually all rain as we go through the second half of the day. So that's why our latest thinking is one to two inches of a slushy mix through that pink color. A lot of that happens early in the day, and then as we switch over, melting on contact and anything that does try to stick gets washed away pretty quick, especially as we switch over to rain. So I don't think at any point during the day you're going to be able to stick a ruler in that and measure up to one to two. We're talking total for the morning uh, into midday, even holding on to some mix through the start of that game as we switch over to rain for the second half. Likely cold enough to see some accumulating snow farther north near the state line, and then mostly a cold rain in the green. If you're south of 95, a better shot for that to switch over to more wet than white. That's the latest thinking. That track shifts at all. We're talking a different story. Let me just show you here. There are a couple forecast models, including the GFS. There's Baltimore right there. It's one of the colder solutions, still holding on to some accumulating snow. So that door is not shut, but there is general consensus that we're on the warm side of this. That forecast model we just showed you keeps the center of that low farther north. So looking at a more rainy solution. We'll refine this over the next couple days. My message up for, or bottom line is just to check back. It's been a while. February 1st was our last measurable snow at BWI, and you got to go back to January 28th, 2022 for an inch of snow. Could we beat it? The potential's there. As we head into Saturday, 28 degrees, temperatures stay cool, but you see we warm above freezing, so that's where we'll see that switch over from a rain snow mix to more rain. As we head through next week, a bigger weather maker Tuesday, Wednesday. Keep a close eye on that, but it does look warmer by then in the 50s. Kelly?